because they don't want people here who have lived here for hundreds of years and has certain inalienable rights. They would want us dead and they love the immigrants coming in because the immigrants are subservient to them. Bow to them and listen to them. But you know us Americans. We tell them what to do. And when they don't listen, like in the case with me and Obama, they end up dead and Obama comes up and lies to you more. And you know, it's also they're blaming God. With all this praying, they're blaming God. Let's continue. That they have. You equipped them. You gave them a willingness to learn, to train, to st You equipped them. But they didn't. They were completely equipped with many millions and millions of our tax dollars, and they kept themselves safe and the courthouse safe. But they left the children unprotected. As when they take away our rights to bear arms, they keep all of us unprotected. But they're equipped, okay? And they're saying they want to learn. What did you ever meet a police officer that wanted to learn anything? Don't they already know everything? Isn't it that that each one of these ignorant Individuals seem to know everything, yet do nothing. Study. You gave them a willingness to serve in the middle of the night when the call would come in. And you... The thing about serving in the middle of the night, they get paid extra to work in the nighttime. People will take the nighttime when they need more money to pay off the bills from the gambling and drinking and prostitution they use. You know, there's a, there's a reason why they need more money. Because they're using drugs or something. That's why that law enforcement officer needs to take the night shift. It's not because they're doing it out of the kindness of heart. They want more money. They take the night shift. But again, they're going to paint the picture of let's change reality here. Every step of the way in this prayer, she's changing reality. And it doesn't help. It, didn't, it, does, it hasn't helped all the shootings past, and it will not help all the shootings future. We got to start waking up and stop this worshiping these worthless individuals who left us dead. Gave them the willingness to respond when this town needed them the most. Lord, we thank. Now, did you hear what she just said? The willingness to respond when the town needed them the most? They needed them the most to stop this from happening. They weren't there. So, what is she talking about? They didn't respond, they didn't show up, and the children are dead. What is she talking about? Thank you for those in this town that responded, but we thank you also for those throughout the state that came when the need was given. What now this is getting scarier and scarier, isn't it? Now the priests are praying to the police. Now they're praying to the state. Do you see where we're going with this, with the Orwellian hell they're creating for us? This is, if you're not scared out of your mind, you're stupid. You, when you hear this, go and listen to it again. You should be scared out of your mind by the insanity of the government, the state, the big brother, what they're doing. They're using these dead bodies for their agenda. And I don't see how any stupid person will say, oh, sure, taking away our guns will make us safer. That is insanely stupid. We thank you, Lord, for their gifts and their strength and their courage. So Again, now the state has the gifts, the strength and the courage. What gifts do the state have? The state employees have all our money, right? They have medical care. They have a medical insurance that none of us have. They have a pension plan that none of us have. They are overpaid like none of us are paid. None of us have a pay that equals them. They're overpaid because they decide how much taxes they take from us and how much they put in their pocket. And it gifts? They call it gifts? What gifts? They got the gift to live off us for the rest of their lives. When they retire, they're going to get just as much money to do the same thing. Sit on their ass and rot. We ask you, Lord, to walk with them in the days ahead. Did you just hear that frightening thing? Asking God to walk with the members of the state. So God in the state, such as the governor, 
and the police are now walking amongst God. Very frightening words. Catch on to each and every word she's saying. Very frightening perception that we have nuts like this. Complete nuts like this that are helping Obama run our country in the ground. It's people who think like this that are running our country in the ground. See them for what they are. If, they, if you see police sending attack dogs at children and pointing guns at other children and, and tasering children and cracking open the head of a little girl with a taser gun, across the country these events are happening. What about them is gifted? It's more evil, isn't it, what they're doing? They don't walk with God. They would walk with the devil, these tyrants, for what they're doing to women and children in this company. They're molesting children. For how long have they been fondling us at these checkpoints? What do they call it? TSA? I advise against the TSA. I advise against all of that. And look at what mess. Did it stop these children from being killed? No. Oh, but let's hear her go on about how the people of the state walk with God. Boy, she must be looking for a grant. I'm wondering, she must be looking for one hell of a grant. And I bet you she's going to get that grant. To surround them with your angels. Oh my God. To give them people who will listen to their story. They don't want to listen. To listen to what they Chris saw. Chris Paul Catherine is a person that was given to listen. Not they don't want to listen. Anyone to ever see. Lord, we place each and every one of these men and women in your care. But we will be faithful to them. We will care for them. We will continue to equip them, and we will keep them ever in our prayers. Wow. Did you hear that? Praying for the tyrants. Wow. We will have faith in them. Twenty children just died. They did nothing to stop it. We have faith in them. This is worship. of This is tyrant worship. And this is what they did in a lot of countries where tyranny reigned free. They did this in Germany. It was all with the churches. The churches came out and sold the devil to them. My God, and continue to equip them. We're talking about millions of dollars they take from you so you can't give your kids Christmas presents. You can't buy the things you want. You can't go on the vacations you want because they overtax you. So they can buy more cameras and more guns to make sure you don't have any rights. To make sure you die so they don't have to share the 1% taxes with you. That's a lot of money they get from the 1%. Plenty to share with the 99. But they decide to keep it with what they call the middle class. The tyrants are calling themselves the middle class. Our, our public servants are now the tyrants. They kind of were calling themselves the middle class for a little while. And do you know we're borrowing money to pay the teachers, the teachers that elected Obama? He says, I'm going to give you more money. They have to borrow that. We don't have the money to pay the teachers. Yet people like me homeschooled their children and their doctors today. My children are doctors. I have three doctors that I homeschooled. They went through medical school and now are doctors. That didn't take one penny of tax money. That didn't take one teacher to do. So why doesn't Obama bring that to you? Hey, we don't need the teachers. Because he does. He needs to pay them off to election, to get the election, to become president. It's very clear why he did it. He needs the teacher unions to get him in the office. He needs to borrow the money from China to pay the teachers. You see what kind of mess you got? You're in a real big mess. It's a very big mess. And it's very convoluted. Okay. Here's another priest that's talking about how God blessed our public servants are. How the governors and mayors and president are special people that are gifted to help us. Even though they failed us. First. But each time, in turn, they gave their yes, and they followed you. Knowing that you were always among them, always supporting them. They were conduits for your eyes and your ears and your voice and your hands. Do you hear what he's saying? That the government is a conduit of God. For your eyes and your ears and your hands. Isn't that something? If you're not frightened and buying guns and preparing for war, I don't know what's wrong with you. 